cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Come on. Keep walking. But you won't knock down our wall. Keep walking. But she isn't gonna fall. General Braddock refused the offer. There will be no truce. Damn it! Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they'd now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still can't be Oh, come on! I was out of it for longer than that the first time. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they'd now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still can't be... We brought them home with a full supply. Work. I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes them terrible. It puts them at a risk. I'd rather not be no. delivering grim news to mothers and widows. Oh, no. shit. Yeah. That was awesome. Trouble. Okay. Perhaps I could sabotage them. We're gonna pile drive that guy again. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That was pretty cool. Come on, pick up the body. And ditch him in the hay pile. I don't know why I didn't think of that in the first place. <laughs> there will be Deal with him first. Why, George? What yeah, before you even started it. He said a diplomatic <laughs> solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't sit well with me either. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts them at a risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Come here, you.
be no truth. Damn it. Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't fit well with me. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. Well, I've got a lock on this part of the mission. Should you wish to review them, at least this will be ended soon. I try, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. Hey, Ryan, can I still do the uh, other cannon after I get the uh, plans from that tent? Or should I do the other cannon first? Civilian dude gonna give me up? No. Okay, good. I'm going for the cannon. Okay, I need to deal with him. And just another guy up there. Ah, oh, shit.
It does not. It's non-lethal. But I assume if you killed him, uh, if you knocked him out and then dropped him off a really long ledge and he died, it would probably count as killing a guard. What? I totally did sabotage that cannon. Get back in there. Now get the hell out. No! Damn it! <laughs> In three, two, one. Bye bye! How long does it take for that uh, that uh, no notoriety to fade? What was that? You killed a rabbit? Yep. You can hunt and skin pelts and shit, but I assume I'm she's going to have to teach me. What news? Radicus left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush them here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. I am now incognito. Yes, 100% synchronization! Holla! Oh, you can only do skinning with Connor? Okay. Yeah, right. Connor's the half, uh... The half English, half, uh, Mohawk... ...guy. That I assume is the kid of this guy and that chick. Like I told you. So totally gonna get with her. <laughs> I don't know if I would go after her myself, but I wouldn't kick her out of bed <laughs> if she was already there. I'll go into the water, but my horse is fucked that. <laughs> Are you insane? Yeah, cuz, you know, that's, that's not at all a good way to get dead. 
Let's wander around in deep snow, then take a swim in ice-cold water, and then wander around in some more deep snow. As, as a Canadian, I have to take particular um, issue with that, that, that particular game element not harming me. Right. Yeah, I tried climbing the trees with him. I was like, yep, he's not climbing. He could jump around up there, but he can't get up there. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Chasing her on the ground was crazy. He's all breathing heavy and she's all, Why are you talking so slowly? <laughs> and he's like, Really? Hey. I don't have to swim this time. Hello. I climb doors before I go through them. It's kind of a whole thing. It's a, it's a ritual. The yeah. Cold, cold ground. Hard at work, I see. How did you... <laughs> it is time. We've set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen. Yeah, Let's I'm away. definitely gonna go all Mel Gibson on someone's ass. <laughs> First it was too cold, now it's too goddamn hot. And humid too, as I ain't swamp, I tell you. Uh, to say nothing of the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? <laughs> nice. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna play out my patriot fantasy. Return to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the Bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Please to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg Hey, Slubber, what's up? He is away with words, especially. Oh, when by the way, Slubber knows we call him Slubber. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open <coughs> arms. And he likes it. Which would give us a man inside. Hey, slubber. Precisely. Unless you've underestimated our enemy. If I have, Charles will sense it first and make his escape. He's more clever than you think. When this is done, I'm taking a week. See you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes, united in their desire to see Braddock sent away. 